it like me, yeah. Kids sound like Bruce Lee. Mm. Yeah. Chris and Dior, yeah. Knock, knock, got peas at the door. Yeah. 30 point gon' score. Yeah. Ooh. Arm and hammer like Thor. Yeah. Wow. Sippers on all. Yeah. Skr, skr. yeah. Water gon' boil. Yeah. Gonna be a coupe megazord. Yeah. yeah. Playing paddock is aluminum four. Yeah. yeah. Luke Elby and Rich Beam here bringing you all the action of the final round. And Rich, I love these days. Championships are decided. Has this player got it in them to pull out the win? Luke, currently in second place, heading to the final round. Not a bad place to be, but let's face it, these guys aren't playing for second place, are they? They've got their eye on the prize. They want to finish number one. So they're going to have to have a good final round to make that happen. Either way, I'm looking forward to seeing what this player does today. Around 110 yards to go. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Oh, what a way to build momentum early. Absolutely. You love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. And that makes him tied for first. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Well, this should find the short grass. Second shot on the second. Getting ready to play their third. That goes down for an eagle. Ooh, tasty little pitch shot. Gets it to go. Fist pumps all around. What an amazing shot. Let's take another look at that one. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Coming off an eagle at the last. Momentum on their side for this player. Come on, get down. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Three feet to go here to the hole. Job done. Let's head to the next. He's currently sitting in first place. Teeing off here at the fourth. That's tidy. Playing from around 230 yards. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Yep, that shot safely on the green. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, it looks like about 30 feet to the hole, guys. Uh, a bit long on that one. Five feet coming up to the cup. Ah, bugger, a bogey. And that puddle drop. Well done. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. From about 200 yards out. Looks like they've got the five wood. Great looking shot, this. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Big pass over coming up for this fella.
Hang on, this looks pretty handy. And in it goes for the par. Still in the lead now after that hole. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. From around 180 yards out. This one's going right at the pin here. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. And here we are with the third shot. Handy effort, that one. And this has been a hole he's unable to take advantage of so far for this event. Ah, that's frustrating. And this putt coming up for his par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Now two shots up after that one. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. That'll work, that's fine. Second shot here on the eighth. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Wow, what a shot. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take him to three under. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. That's a bad error to make there. That's headed right. Well, a little off the target with that one. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been handling a lot of greens today. A seven footer. Right here. Oh, so close. This one's for bogey. Okay, let's head to the next. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Yes, but if they start thinking about it, that's where the danger happens. They have to keep their head down and keep playing on the front foot if they want to see this thing home. This one might roll into the rough. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. And with that, he'll move to three under par. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Time for the second shot at the 11th. Uh, that'll flick a few of the leaves going through there.
getting ready to play their third. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Quality shot that one. Time for the second shot at the 12. And here we are with the third shot. Eight feet to the cup. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. He sits in first position. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. That's heading for the fairway. Well, Rich, this looks like a familiar spot for this player. Unfortunately, it is the same as yesterday. Hopefully, they've put the results yesterday away. Oh, what a gorgeous-looking shot that is, Rich. Lining up the birdie putt here. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take him to five under. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Well, good-looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Well, well played. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. All right, John. How's this putt looking? Well, this next putt coming up around 30 feet to the hole. And that should secure the par. Well done. Currently five under for the event. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 15. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. That's just inside the range. Hasn't managed to booty this hole this week. Okay, steady now. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. The putt drops. Now at five under, heading down the stretch. With just a small sliver of a lead. This could go any different direction down the stretch. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. A dream start on that drive, considering what happened yesterday. Let's see how the rest of the hole plays out. This one's for birdie. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will take him to six under. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Well, this one's right at the pin. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Now four shots up after that hole. What a lovely position to be in, holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Second shot here at the 18th. Oh, 
Oh, what a shot by our leader. Opting for the five iron. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Ooh, wouldn't it be nice to chip this in and win the tournament? What an effort that is, winning Q School and what's a pressure packed tournament. Yes, and hats off, but listen, I, it really doesn't matter, Luke. You finish first or you finish 25th, you still get your tour card. You still have an amazing opportunity next year. Yes, winning it does, does get you into a few more events at the beginning of the year, but you better play your way into the next part of the year because of the reshuffle. Hats off to the winner, but hats off to all the players getting through. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in.